ending. So we now place ourselves in the loving presence of God. In the name of the Father, the Son, of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 The Lord be with you. And with, and with your, your spirit. spirit. Lord, we celebrate today the solemnity of the Corpus Christi, your most precious body and blood, and the fifth as well of the Novena to the most sacred heart of Jesus. We thank you, Lord, for the abundance of your love, of staying with us and accompanying us, your presence in the Eucharist, in the Blessed Sacrament, as well as of your most compassionate heart. We thank you, Lord, for the gifts and the blessings you have for each one of us, our respective families, as we continue to entrust to you our families, our loved ones, their needs and the desires of the hearts, and for Dr. Bell's exams tomorrow. We thank you, Lord, for the kindness that you have for us, and we pray for our leaders as well, O oh Lord, the leaders of our country, as today we have the taking of the vice president-elect in Daisara. We thank you, Lord, for the healing, for the love, for multiplying always the goodness and the friendship that we have, continuously lifting everything for your greatest glory. All this we ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with you. Ita Bell, Ita Bell, can you read? She's in the hospital, Father. Tito oh, Elmer. Sister, uh, sorry. Ah, okay, Father. Tito Elmer. A Tito reading. Elmer will read. A reading from the book of Luke. Glory, Glory to you, to you Lord. 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 The crowds, meanwhile, <laughs> learned of this and followed him. He received them and spoke to them about the kingdom of God. And he healed those who needed to be cured. As the day was drawing to a close, the twelve approached him and said, Dismiss the crowd so that they can go to the surrounding villages, farms, and lodging and provisions. For we are in a deserted place here. He said to them, Give them some food yourself, they replied. Five loaves and two fish, all we have, unless we ourselves go and buy food for all these people. Now the men were numbered about 5,000. Then he said to his disciples, have them sit down in groups of 50. They did so and made them all sit down. Then taking the five loaves and two fish, looking up to heaven, he said the blessing over them, broke them and gave them to the disciples to set before the crowd. They all ate and were satisfied. And when the leftover fragments were picked up, they filled 12 wicker baskets. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Right. The Lord be with you. Good morning and good evening, all. Happy good Sunday. Evening. Happy Sunday, Sunday Lord, Lord, Lord. Father. We are celebrating the solemnity of the Corpus Christi, and this is practically like Holy Thursday for us. Remember Holy Thursday? It's an institution of the Eucharist, the sacrament of the Eucharist, and the sacrament of priesthood, the sacrament of the mandatum of the Lord, that is charity. And this is the abiding presence of the Lord. Today, my reflection would be gathered into, summarized into four words, the four peace. Unang una, the Corpus Christi is the fulfilled promise. Rather, it's the promise of the Father in Jesus. So the promise of the Father from the Old Testament to send a Savior. 
And after all, Jesus came by his body and blood. He has redeemed us. He has ransomed us. His body is a sacrifice. His blood is a ransom for us. So it's a promise fulfilled by the Father because he loves us, because of the abundance of his mercy. So Corpus Christi, the most precious body and blood of the Lord, is the fulfillment of the promises of the Father. Secondly, the Corpus Christi is none other than the presence of the Lord, his abiding presence. He is with us forever. Remember in St. Matthew, when he was born, when he was named, he is to be called Emmanuel, God with us. And St. Matthew in chapter 28, as he commanded his disciples, it was a commissioning. He said, go and proclaim the good news all over the world and know that I am with you always till the end of time. His presence is in us. His presence is among us. He has never abandoned us, even if he has gone down home to the Father because of the sacraments that he has instituted, especially the sacrament of the Eucharist. Thirdly, it is the providence of God. Realize that the bread and the blood of Christ, or the body and the blood of Christ, in the bread and wine symbolizing, these are all the providence of God. He wanted us and he told us, you will never be thirsty again if you drink this blood. You will never be hungry again if you eat this body. And so the divine providence of God is manifested in the Corpus Christi, in the most precious body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, telling us that there is so much food, there is so much life, there is so much abundance because of the providence of God. In a way, the Lord invites us to trust in his divine providence because his divine providence is truly abundant. Yes, we see in our lives a lot of material blessings, French friends, homes, everything, spiritual gifts as well, all of which would speak of God's providence for each and every one of us and for our family. But lastly, the divine, this celebration of the precious body and blood of our Lord invites us to a life of perfection. So we have the promise, we have the presence, we have the providence, and we have the perfection. So much so that every time we receive communion, it should lead us to transformation, to perfection. Every time we visit the Blessed Sacrament, the Adoration Chapel, it's for us to live our life of transformation, perfected as the Father is perfect. And the only way to perfect life, as being blessed with our reception of the sacrament, with the body and blood of the Lord, is none other than to share. And that is what we have seen in the Gospel. With the five feasts and two loaves, he broke them, he distributed, he blessed, and then there are still a lot of leftovers. So if you have five, if you have two, it can be multiplied. The real perfection is another than we become multipliers more than being dividers, more than being negative, because the abundance of the love of mercy is just simply wonderful and too great for us. May we see, adore, love the Eucharist, the most precious body and blood of the Lord, and look forward really to receive in our lives. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord, for the gift of the sacraments. Thank you, Thank you Lord, Lord, for the gift of the sacraments. Especially Amen. of the Eucharist. Especially, Especially of the Eucharist. Your precious body and blood, O Lord. Your precious body and blood, O Lord. The fulfillment of your promise. The fulfillment of your promise. Your abiding presence. Your, your abiding, abiding presence, presence. Your greatest providence, greatest providence. providence that invites us to live in the perfection of life. That invites, that invites us, us to live in the perfection of life. Help us, O Lord. Help, Help us, O Lord. Lord. And steer our hearts. And steer our hearts to yearn for you more and more. To year to year year for you more, more and more, more, and, more. And, and to celebrate the sacrament and to celebrate, to celebrate the, sacrament. the sacrament with greater faith with greater faith, faith. until we see you face to face until, until we see you face to face, 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 face in the home of the father and the, the home of the father, of the father. father. amen Amen. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. 
Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Michael, Raphael, and Gabriel, pray for us. Angel of God, my guardian angel, whom God has loved to meet me here, ever this day be at my side, light and guard to rule our lives. Amen. Saint Augustine, Saint Anthony, and Saint Hannibal. Pray for us. Stand, O Lord. Your holy apostles into your church. Most sacred heart of Jesus. Have mercy on us. Have mercy on us. Have mercy on us. Most sacred heart of Jesus. Have, have mercy, mercy on us. Have mercy. The Lord be with you. And with, you. with, with your spirit. spirit. May Almighty God bless us and our families, the Father and the Son and the, the, Holy, of spirit. the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Good Amen. evening you, and good morning. Father, thank, Father, you, thank you very much. Morning. Welcome. Thank you, Father. Good morning. Thank you very Welcome. Much, Happy Father. feast day. <laughs> Happy Father. Father. Thank you and regards to all fathers and your fathers. Thank you for the greetings today. In heaven. So appreciate it. Yes, in heaven, uh, even in heaven. In heaven. <laughs> our fathers in heaven with our real father in heaven. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yes, we have them in heaven interceding for us. No. Oh, continue greatest. your prayer. See thank you, you Father. Tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you very much, thank Father. You, Father. Huh? Yeah. Thank, you. thank you. Father. Bye, Bye Father. Bye. We love Bye, you, Father. Love you, Father. Bye, Father. Love you, Father. Bye, Father. Thank you. I want to share this reflection taken from the Daily Gospel, a uh, uh, reflection of a Catholic life. Uh, <clears throat> Today is Corpus Christi Day, uh, and it says here shortly, take, take it, this is my body, this is my blood. So the Eucharist is everything. It's all things, the fullness of life, eternal salvation, mercy, grace, happiness, and a lot more. Why is the, the Eucharist all this and so much more? Because simply the Eucharist is God. The Eucharist is all that God is. Yung, show, uh, yung maliit na, na host, no? Yun, it's everything because it's, it's God. In this beautiful tradition, uh, there is a beautiful traditional hymn, Adoro, uh, Adoro Te Devot, uh, Devoti by St. Thomas Aquinas. It says here, I devoutly adore you, O hidden deity, truly hidden beneath these appearances. My whole heart submits to you, and in contemplating you, it surrenders itself completely. Sight, touch, taste are all deceived in their judgment of you, but hearing suffices firmly to believe. That means that ang, ang faith natin, sub, that small, uh, that small um, uh, holy host, ang faith natin, we can we can we can taste him we can smell him it's his real body because of our faith this statement of faith reveals that when we worship before the eucharist we worship god himself hidden under the appearance of bread and wine nanjan si jesus talaga nanjan si jesus this eucharist is god throughout our lives we were raised catholic we were taught rever reverence for the Catholic, but reverence is not enough. Most Catholics rever the Eucharist, meaning we, gen uh, we genuflect. Genuflect means magnil down tayo with, with so much utmost reverence or respect. We kneel and treat the sacred host with respect. But it's important to ponder a question in your heart to believe the Eucharist is God Almighty the savior of the world, the second person, the second, the second person of the most trinity, 
Do you believe deeply enough to have your heart moved with love and profound devotion every time you are before our divine Lord present before us <clears throat> under the veil of the Eucharist? When you kneel down to the fo- uh, when you kneel when you kneel, do you fall down prostrate? in your heart, loving God with whole being. So ponder the depth of your faith in the Eucharist today and strive to renew it, worshiping God as one who believes with your whole being. I devoutly adore you, O hidden deity, truly hidden beneath these appearances. My whole heart submits to you and in contemplating you, it surrenders itself completely. Slight I mean, sight, touch, taste are all deceived in their judgment of you. But hearing so hearing suffices firmly to believe. Jesus, we trust in you. So beautiful, no? a, a, a reminder na, that yung sinabi ko, that small host, no, that means everything. It can heal, it can, it can give you love, it it can it can it can listen to you, it can answer prayers. It goes, I mean, it's everything because we believe that, that that Eucharist is the body and blood of Jesus Christ. It is God. We are just so lucky, no? I mean, personally, I am lucky kasi dito sa Miami, dito sa US, no? Hindi masyado ang kwan, hindi masyado. I mean, hindi masyado mga Catholic. Mas ma, na outnumbered sila ng mga Baptist no ang mga Catholics dito. But I'm just so lucky no na few miles away may 24 hours adoration uh, adoration chapel dito and talaga it's a if you have enough faith you could feel the presence of God in the Eucharist. You can cry, you can you can you can tell him everything. You can beg, you can pray with all your faith. Kasi ma-feel mo na you are talking to God himself, physically present. Doon sa maliit na, na holy host na yan, nandoon siya, nakatago, siya yun. He is, he is God. Yung, yung Eucharist na yan is yun ang God. So it's because of our faith. So it's up to us, no? It's up to us, no? To take advantage of this while we are, while we are still here, no? Living, talk to him. Punta ka doon, bisitahan mo siya. Bisitahan mo siya sa ano, sa Holy Eucharist. Nandiyan siya. Kaya nga sabi, sabi ng isang pare, sabi niya, he, he has been there waiting for you. He wants to be visited. He wants to listen to you. Although, although he, he already knows your problem, he knows your needs, but he wants you to visit him and talk to him. Because that's him. Siya yun as a Eucharist. He is that that's him. Amen. 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 Elmer. Tita Kone, you had you 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 want to say something? To us, Tita Bell. Uh, on this day, may you all warriors to come to Jesus and be fed by him and in return give thanks to God. Be fed by him. Think of the things that sharing a meal with another symbolizes a desire to be united with this person. So we celebrate key points in our lives by coming together and eating. It also gives us the opportunity to share our story with others. It is no wonder that Jesus choose to allow his followers to stay in such in touch with him by sharing a meal and remembering him how blessed are we as we come at the table of the lord and feast on him who died 
and rose for us. My prayer is may you, may we continue to give thanks to God for allowing, for allowing one of us, one with the Lord Jesus. The context of the story is, um, is about the breaking of the bread um, and the feeding of the 5,000. My dear warriors, on this day, the solemnity of the most holy body and blood of Christ, or the Corpus Christi. Our gospel today tells us about the feeding of the 5,000. Jesus instructs the crowd to recline, and they do so on the grass. Taking loaves and dried fish, Jesus makes a meal that satisfies that enormous crowd. They are hungry, tired, and worn out from their exertion. And Jesus gives them sustenance of, for the day. For St. Thomas the Aquinas, the great metaphor for the Eucharist is sustenance food for the journey. Eucharist is daily food, sustenance for the journey, nourishment to get us through the day to day. How effective would we be if we never ate or ate only on special occasions and in festive environment? No, not very. We're not very effective. So in the spiritual life, we must eat and drink or we will not have strength. Is this just meant in some big symbolic way? Yeah, no, rather, in a vividly analogical way, for just as the body needs physical nourishment, the spirit needs spiritual nourishment, we know that, and there is no getting around the law. Well, it's no big deal. If I stay away from the mass and refrain from receiving communion, think again. Let me say that again. Well, it's a big no deal. No, no big deal. If I stay away from the mass and refrain from receiving communion, You must be spiritually hungry. Amen. 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 Thank you very much, Tito Elmer. Um, you want to read the reflection, Tita Bell, of Haro Cathedral? Maganda isa, din yun. Isa lang ang gadget ko, MJ. Sorry. Oh, okay. Oh, sige. So, any... Anybody who wants to say something, maybe, just like what Father Danny said, but every every Sunday we are going to say something um, uh, about what happened during the week. If if uh, you feel the presence of of Jesus in our hearts, that you, you recognize His presence in our daily life, um, anything. Please go ahead, Tita Bex. Okay, yesterday afternoon, 
coming from the bridal shower, my daughter and myself went home straight and we found out that our parking space was already occupied. So we, we proceeded to the garage. So in there, we were trying to, to sort out things to prepare for the box to be sent to the Philippines. And we just uh, let this uh, garage be open. Finally, we got uh, this, our, this neighbor of ours who had a recent um, roof repair. He was also helping us in some other ways during the times when we need most during winter. So he greeted us and we also recognized his presence. Then I told him, yeah, I am very uh, grateful to your recommendation for my roof repair too. So you see, I told him, I showed him the garage. Then he went up and looked it up inside. And then he saw, wait a minute, there was something. Uh, kindly turn it uh, up and down. So I, I said, let me take this car out. And then he he tried to to look at the up the uh, uh, the upper portion. He was able to detect that only one nail was holding on to the you know the mechanism for the lift master to to have this garage door up and down. He said, "You only have this uh, one nail." I said, "How? So how come?" He said, "This is very dangerous. Have it fixed." So I told him, "Can you please help me?" I don't have anybody here. So he said, okay, then he tried to fix, but he said, oh, I need this uh, thing. So I told my daughter to have these uh, things presented to him, but we don't have any. So he went uh, back to his place and he came back. Then he tried to check it out. You know, we were trying to look it up, uh, up uh, you know, the, the uh, nail. He tried to fix it, but it just went off and the garage door just shut off and went to the ground. Good enough, he said, you oh. see, this is very dangerous. If you had it, when you had the time that you're coming out of your garage, this shuts up on your car. I said, oh, oh my God, oh. this is so dangerous oh. for us. He said, yes, yes. So in oh. short, he fixed it for us. And I was so, so thankful to the Lord. You see, uh -oh. I didn't know it. It's a miracle. I said, you know, it was a timing. It was very timing for us uh -oh. to be there. And then this neighbor to be in there too, to look it up, uh, to look up all these things for us. Oh, and then he noticed. God. And then yeah. he noticed. Uh -oh. Yes. He, uh -oh. you know, the Lord saved me, us, my daughter and myself. Uh -oh. From this, you know, the, the cutting off of the car from the oh. garage door. Oh, oh, oh. Mabigat ang garage door. Garage door is very heavy. Very oh. heavy. Tapos, oh, very heavy. Tapos ma, ano yan. Oh. It will crash. It will, um, it will door. crash on the okay, car. It will oh, crash the car. Door. And, oh. and what if I'm just, just yeah. there and it oh. goes on my head? Oh. Wow. Oh, my God. It See? saved me and my See? daughter. Miracle. Wow! Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I'm thank so you, Lord. For, because 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 she always pray for protection. Right. And he the listens. precious blood of Jesus. I said, precious blood of Jesus, protect us always. Remember when I pray with you, precious blood. Uh -uh. Jesus, precious blood of Jesus. Protect each and everyone, uh -uh. the warrior group, and all our relatives. Uh -uh. And, and then and then praying every day, the uh, Saint Michael, the Archangel. Okay, because yeah, he, yeah, yeah. Because he's every the God. Uh -oh. When we when I yeah. contacted the the car we always pray uh angel of god and saint michael and saint michael yeah that, that, that's what we call the power of prayer correct the power of prayer the guidance ju just yeah. just have faith when you pray no just have faith no and mm -hmm. then uh, uh, look at that without who knows yeah that how, who, who knows so that neighbor of yours uh, arrived or came to you In the right place the right time just the right time because See, the was Lord the, made it so. Yes. Uh, uh, it, everything made possible by our Lord. By him. Yeah. Um, by him. He is so. really present in us. You know? Uh -oh. We don't uh -oh. know, but we are guided. He said angel. Uh -oh. He became, yeah, he became an angel. 
Mm. Thank you, Tita Connie. Tita Connie said he's an angel. God mm. sent. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Because once in a while, no, we see in our in our life, if we if we just open our eyes and open our hearts, no, um, you can you uh, God can send you the, the the right person and becomes your angel, mm. or we become angel to other people. To other we people, become yeah. angel. Oh. So that's the power of, of of prayers, no, and guidance and uh, divine providence, and uh, you know. So it's uh, just one touch of, of, of that one screw of, of that of that neighbor of yours, Shalang, and then oh uh, yeah, the door crash eh, uh, nag crash na nag 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 shut nag shut down. Imagine if um, siguro one or twice na lang na mag open o mag open ka ng garage door siguro mag crash na yan. Because uh, it was already like just a few uh, centimeters away. It was like this. So the, oh. when it's the, the nail comes out, oh, oh. Ma, oh. Ma crash kayo ng kwan. Ng... Oh my God. Wow. Very nice. Thank you very much, Sita Bex. See, the power of prayer. Yes. And, and we always, uh, we, we always uh, remember that God is really present in our life. Daily every life. single yeah. day, mm. every single moment of our life. Amen. Oh, Tita Bex. Thank you very much, Tita Bex. Welcome. Wow. So, anyway, any anybody else who wants to share something? So, yeah, you, you have an experience, Tito Elmer, or what? Um, uh, at this moment, we kanina sabi ko is to uh, offer a plate of meal to a person. So uh, in a few moments, I will leave here and we will have a free meal for every parishioners. Good. For to see all the Knights of Columbus, ah, very nice. as we offer um, a plate of meal to them, okay. simply lang. Uh, Still, it's a blessing. Uh, ano yam yung uh, pie and uh, and burger and American food talaga. <laughs> American food. <laughs> Okay, yeah. God bless all those donors and benefactors. Yeah. So, uh -huh. uh, so as we end this uh, prayer meeting, no, um, we will uh, pray. Uh, just a minute. Uh, our three pointers. I, sorry, Tita Linda. Thank you, Tito Elmer. Senior moment. Three pointers for today's gospel. Number one, as human persons, very often in life, we find ourselves limited and lacking in strengths and capabilities. Number two, however, with Jesus as our Savior and Lord, there is nothing that we need that he will not give us for the sake of our eternal salvation. He will give us all the graces to overcome obstacles that hinder us from our spiritual growth. Number three, Jesus' spirit is truly watching over us with his love and strength at all times. We should not take this for granted and frequently thank him in our prayers. Amen. 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 Thank you very much, Tita Linda. Thank you very much. Thank you, David. Amen. Have the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank Michael, the Archangel, be our defend us in battle. But in battle, be, be our, our defense, defense against them. Be our protection against the weakness and snares of the devil. May God be with you. We humbly pray, and do you, Prince of the Heavenly Host. 
by the power of God, God into hell, Satan, as they into hell, Satan, Satan, and, all Satan and all the evil spirits, spirits who proud about, about the world, about the world taking the right of souls. Of souls. Amen. Amen. Thank Michael and the Archangel. Archangel. Pray, for, pray for us. Defend us and us and protect us. Always. always. Amen. Amen. Glory be to the Glory Father, to, to the Son, to the Holy Spirit. As it, As was, it in was in the beginning, beginning again, now and ever, and ever, and ever, and ever, and Amen. Thank you very much. You want to say I'd something? I'd like to, to tell you that we would like to pray for the birthday of our Italian prayer leader, uh, Agnese. And we also pray that our prayer warriors in in Ukraine, they are separated by, by war. Uh, one of them is Oksana, Oksana Galuga, that's the lady. And, uh, and as you said, marriage is a spiritual bond, the community that is designed to teach husband and wife to lead together in dialogue in the presence of God. The question is, how can couples separated in different location go through this difficult time of being separated by war? We pray for our prayer warriors there in Ukraine um Oksana is now in Warsaw while the husband is in Kiev. We always pray for Ukraine. We always pray for Ukraine. Amen. Thank you very much. Thank you very much all. Thank you. Bye-bye. Okay.